Hi guys, let's continue here the discussion on section 7.5. And here in this example, we're asked to find an equation of a plane which contains three points. So we're basically given three points like point one, point two, and point three, and we're asked to find the equation of a plane. So how do we do that? First, we'll need to form a matrix of three rows, and it has to be a three by three matrix, and we'll, we're gonna have to find the determinant of this matrix, which gives us the equation of the plane. So this is the plan we're gonna follow. And for that, the determinant, the first row of the determinant has to be uh, the vector P0 minus P1. And uh, the second row has to be P2 minus P1. And the third row has to be P3 minus P1. So like the difference between the P0 vector and P1 vector, P2 and P1 vector, and P3 and P1 vector. So the difference between this vector forms us the will form a, the matrix for us and then we can find the determinant of that which gives us the equation of a plane so let's do p0 minus p1 first so p0 we're not given it so we can assume just it's x y z since here we have these x y z like three coordinates so we are assuming three coordinates okay so now we can do that here we have P0 as X, Y, Z, and we have P1 as 3, 5, 2. So we do uh, P0 minus P1, which gives us X minus 3, Y minus 5, Z minus 2. And this can be also written as I, J, K. So X minus 3, I hat, Y minus 5, J hat, sorry, plus and z minus 2 k hat okay you guys get it so like for example if i have a vector 2 2 0 2 2 let's say this is 4 okay 2 2 4 and this can also be written as 2 i hat plus 2 g hat plus 4 k hat so this is what i did here basically okay let's just remove it Okay, now we are doing P2 minus P1. Okay, this goes, this thing goes in the first row. So like here. Okay, now let's do the second row. And for that, we do P2 minus P1. So I've already explained, so I'm going to skip some steps here. So, okay, so P2 minus P1 will be 2 minus 3 i hat plus 3 minus 5 g hat plus 1 minus 2 k hat so here this gives us negative i hat negative 2 j hat negative k hat and here p3 minus p1 gives us negative 1 negative 3 i hat plus negative 1 negative 5 j hat plus 4 negative 2 k hat and negative 4 negative 6 this gives negative 4 i hat negative 6 j hat and 2 k hat okay so we have our second row and third row as well now we'll just have to form the matrix Okay, so you guys get what I did here, P2 minus P1. So I had this vector P2, which was 2, 3, 1. And what I did, I did like 2, 3, 1, and then minus the vector P1, which was 3, 5, and 2. And this is how I got this 2 minus 3, and here, 2 minus 3, and then, and then 3 minus 5, and 1 minus 2. And then I did the same thing with P3 minus P2. Okay, so here I had P3, negative 1, negative 1, 4. And then I did minus uh, the vector 1, so 3, 5, 2. So here I did negative 1 minus negative 3. So negative 1 minus negative 3, and then negative 1 minus 5, 4, 
minus 2, 4 minus 2, and which gives us these vectors. Now let's do the matrix. All right, let's set up the rows and columns of the matrix. So in the first one, this goes in the first row, this in the second row, and this in the third row, like I explained here. Okay, now let me write it. So here, in the first row, x minus 3, and here, I, sorry, I forgot to put the parentheses, just, just so you don't, do, you guys don't confuse. Okay, now, in the first one, I have x minus 3, I had, and so this is the first one. The first component, and the second one is y minus 5, and the third one is uh, z minus 2. Um, okay, z minus 2. And here, and in the second row, we have negative 1, mm, negative 1. And here, because here it's just negative i hat, so it's negative 1. And here, negative 2 and negative 1. So I'm going to write it in here, negative 2, negative 1. And in the third one, what do we have? Negative 4, negative 6, and 2. So we write it, negative 4, negative 6, and 2. Now it's just doing the rows and columns, crossing out the rows and columns. Okay, here we cross out the first row and first column. We're left with this, the 2 by 2 matrix. This. So we're going to write in here negative 2, negative 1, negative 6, 2. And then since we crossed out this column, this column, so we have to write this at the beginning. And here, this has to be negative, very important. You cannot forget this. So if if you tend to forget this, you can write it in here just so you don't forget it, like positive, negative, positive. So you know the first one is positive here, and the second one is negative, and the other one is positive. Okay, now we know that it's negative. And what comes here, since we're crossing here, the second column, so we have to put here y minus 5 and it's multiplying the negative is multiplying y minus 5 so y minus 5 times the negative this gives us positive y sorry negative y and positive 5 so we write it in here negative y positive 5 crossing out the second column and uh, the first row we're left with negative 1 negative 1 negative 4 and 2 okay now we write a plus here because we see a plus here. Okay, so plus, and then we cross the second, the third column and the first row. And since we cross the third column, we have to write this in front. So z minus two goes in front and then, okay, sorry, let me use another color. Okay, so z minus two, and then crossing on the third column and the first, row so we're left with negative one negative two negative four negative six now solving for the two by two matrix so here how do we do that x minus three in the front and then we multiply these two so negative four and when we go in the other direction like this first we have to put a negative here so we put a negative here and then we go into the other direction so first put negative then go in the other direction. Okay, now negative six times negative one gives positive six. And here it's already a negative here, so put positive six. And then we move on to the second one. We have negative five plus negative y plus five. And here we go in this direction first, negative one times two, which gives negative two. And before going into the other direction, what do we do? Put a negative here, yeah. And then negative four times negative one, we have positive 4. Now, we are here, and then z minus 2 times negative 1 times negative 6. We have positive 6. Write 6. And then, before going into the other direction, we put a negative here. And then 4 times 2, which is positive 8. Now, solve for this. Okay, here, solving it, we get 
negative 10, negative 4, negative 6, you get negative 10. Here, negative 5 plus 5. And then negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, plus z minus 2. And then 6 minus 8 gives negative 2. Negative 2. Okay, now we will have to multiply this. So x minus 3 times negative 10. So this gives us negative x plus 30, negative 6y, negative negative positive 6y, and then negative 30 plus, sorry, minus 2z, and then plus 4 equals to 0. Plus 30, negative 30 cancels out. And here we can write this neatly, minus 10x plus 6y, negative 2z, and plus 4 equals to 0. This is the equation of the plane. So this is the final answer. So here, the equation of the plane can also be written as in the form of ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0. Thank you. Bye.